Do you read? Beta 6. Carter Farragut, come in. Transporter malfunction. Anyone hurt? No, sir. No, sir. No. Come in, Farragut. That was a rough ride. Sir, we should move to cover until we can assess the situation. Agreed. Was it a transporter malfunction? Transporter logs showed everything fine as they entered the pattern buffer. All indicators registered 100% integrity. Then they... vanished. There's nothing wrong with my transporter. I ran a full diagnostic two days ago. Then run it again. Aye. Ship sensors recorded a surge in background radiation right at that moment. We've started sweeping Solon Prime for him. Keep at it, Mike. All right. First order of business. Where are we? This isn't Solon Prime. The air is breathable. Obviously. Actually, it's great. No traces of industrial pollution other than a bit of carbon byproducts. Life forms? Lots. Mostly four-legged in our general vicinity. Some quite large. What about an orbit? No sign of the Farragut. Not even a communications satellite. Could we be on another planet in the system? None were anywhere close to transporter range. Besides, the nearest one was a gas giant. No, the sun isn't even right. Too yellow. Did anyone notice something during transport? A red energy field? Now that you mention it, yes. But if anything interfered with the transporter field, I feel remarkably well for someone with scrambled molecules. I feel a little queasy, almost as if I was seasick. I've never been seasick, but my ears are ringing, a little. Everyone checks out okay, Captain. All right then, let's find out where we are. Then we can get out of this cold. Sir, I'd like to take Hayes and scout the perimeter. I recommend you stay close to the beam down point in case Farragut is looking for us. I'd swear that's an oak. Sir? That's fine. Report back in 10 minutes. Yes, sir. I don't want us to spread out too much. Set phasers to stun and put your communicators on silent mode. If the Farragut is trying to locate us, I don't want a signal from the ship to alert anyone or anything to our presence. Aye, sir. You were saying something about an oak? Yeah. Start scanning the vegetation. It looks very familiar. Hail the Solonite Council. They are hailing us, sir. I apologize for the interruption, Commander. We are waiting for your captain to arrive. Is everything all right? No, sir. Our captain and his party have disappeared during transport. An outside force may be involved. You mentioned before the background radiation we detected may have something to do with your new technology. Can you tell us more about it? Do you believe our technology is the cause of the disappearance? Our scanners detected a surge of radiation at the exact moment it happened. I can only assume the two are related. You're certain of this? I am. Please stand by, Commander. I will contact you in a moment. Sir, I sense it too. He knows something. Bridge? Go ahead, Mike. I've got a pretty good sensor record of whatever it was that took them. I'm transmitting it to the science station. At least we have something to analyze. I've got it. You might want to try running it against the background radiation and see if the next- I know my job, Lieutenant Commander. Sorry, Mike. I'm running it now. It appears your theory is correct, Mr. Tackett. Apparently, we are the cause of this situation. 
I'd appreciate any information you can give us, sir. As you may have heard, our people have been studying history for quite some time. Our research into our own origins was completed a millennia ago, and we have been concentrating on other cultures as we meet them. A breakthrough in research techniques was recently discovered, and we have found a way to put it into practice. What kind of breakthrough? What you are seeing and hearing is the retreat from Long Island during your American Revolution. This is not a recreation, but the actual event as viewed and recorded by our technology. We can witness any moment in history and record and study it. Incredible. Our intention was to present this technology to the Federation as a gift for historical research. That is why we invited you here. And the disappearance of our people? It seems that our technology has had an unforeseen interaction with your transportation device. Our lead scientist believes he may be able to assist. If I could examine your transporter device firsthand, I should be able to determine what happened. Thank you for your offer. I'd like to discuss this with my chief engineer. By all means, Commander. Please contact us on this frequency at your convenience. Mike, did you get that? Yeah, I'm on my way up. Hmm. So? This is getting interesting. Prescott to Carter. Carter here. I'm picking up a large group of humanoids about a kilometer north of our position. Looks like some small buildings as well. How many humanoids? Several hundred at least, sir. The way they're clustered... Commander. You better come see this. What is it, Commander? I don't believe it. We're heading back to you, Captain. I think I know where we are. Prescott out. This is incredible, Captain. You were right about the oak tree. I've even found pine, maple, hickory, even some poison ivy. It would be an amazing coincidence if these evolved independently on a different planet. What about Hodgkin's law and a theory of parallel planet development? Do you think it applies? Only to cultural development, as far as I know. I'm hoping it's not the other possibility. 